Hey guys, and welcome back to the second part of the uh, two Magic the Gathering fat pack unboxings. So to go over what I got last time, that is all of it. One Mythic Rare, which was the nice uh, Primordial Hydra. Looking forward to getting that into play. And now we have 11 fat packs to open. And I got a green. Spin down life counter with the other one. So, I'll try to get this all done in one, but since my opening skills are pretty shit, I can't guarantee anything. Um, there we go, okay, we're off to a good start. I'm going to try and keep these in order as well, so we can do a quick recap at the end of any notable cards. Okay, so we've got uh, Salt Griffin, Doomblade, Skywinder Drake, Lightning Elemental, Fling, Ring Flesh, sorry if my thumb was in the way there, Benelish Veteran, Rampant Growth, Unsummon, and another Manolith. And now for our uncommons, we have Swiftfoot Boots, Vampire Outcasts, Flash Freeze, and our Mythical Rares. Oh my goodness gracious gravy. Garruk Primal Hunter, Planeswalker. Nice. I was not expecting, well I was hoping for it, but I wasn't expecting that. So, straight off, first booster we have the Planeswalker. No... No uh, shiny, but I'm not disappointed. Whew. Let's hope we can keep this up, eh? If I get a Jace the Mind Sculptor, I'm not responsible for the noises I might make. I may have to censor them, because they might not be uh, suitable for human ears. I'm not a nerd or anything. Don't, don't get me wrong. Of course not. <laughs> okay, so. Divination. And I hope you don't get angry with me for saying words wrong. Right. Fastwood Gorger, Chandra's Outrage, Goblin Arsonist, another Arachnus Web, Distress, don't really like that card, Phantasmal Bear, Goblin Tunneler, Taste of Blood, Stave Off. And our uncommons are Arbalist Elite, Smallpox, Stinger Fling Spider, and our mythic or rare is Phantasmal Image. You may have Phantasmal Image enter as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. Nice card. That goes in our rare pile, and then no shinies again. Okay, third pack. Keep up this momentum. Right, so we're starting off with a good old giant spider. Everyone loves that card. Mana Leak, useful in uh, competitive. Angel's Fury, Shock, Disentomb, Wall of Tortures, Divine Favor, Zombie Goliath, Ice Cage, Lure, and our rare, our uncommons are Arbalist, Alabaster Mage, sorry, another Stinger Fling Spider. Another one of those Pentavus. And then... Oh, sorry, the Pentavus was the uh, rare. I thought I got Jip there. And then a Shiny Island and a Normal Island, so... Nice. Not bad. All oh, my arms are getting achy. I have to, like, reach around the camera. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but... The things I do for you guys, eh? Yeah. Oh my god. And a spaz attack. Our commons are Salt Griffin, Dusk Hunter Bat, Gorehorn Minotaurs, Coral Merfolk. Sorry, the cards are out of. like all shuffled, it annoys me. Fling, Bountiful Harvest, Devouring Swarm, Goblin Fire Slinger. Avon Fleetwing, Peregrine Griffin, and uh, bloody hell, how many of these can we get? Our own commons are Alabaster Elite, Kite Shield, Master Thief, when it enters the battlefield, gain control of target artifact, and our rare or mythic is Redirect, which is quite nice. No foils. Okay, we've got about six left to go. I think we can do that in six or fifteen minutes or whatever.
So we're starting off straight away with a Jace's Erasure, a Lifelink, Bonebreaker Giant, Soren's Thirst, Trollhide, Disentomb, Siege Mastodon, Goblin Piker, Divine Favor, Reclaim, and then our rares or uncommons either our lure, dragon's claw, fireball, and our mythic or rare is Garruk's horde trample. Play with the top card of your library revealed. So, and then a beast token and a swamp. Okay. Um. So I was just trying to. I forgot. I was on camera then for a second. Bonebreaker Giant, Greater Basilisk, Stampeding Rhino, oh my God. Uh, Brindlebore, Mind Rot, Devouring Swarm, Ponder, uh, Griffin Rider, Goblin Fire Slinger, Titanic Growth, which is a replacement for Giant Growth, and then our uncommons are Ar Arbalist Elite. Reassembling Skeleton, Buried Ruin, and our Mythic or Rare is Adaptive Autom Automaton. It is Adaptive Automaton and the creature, choose a creature type. It is the chosen creature type and other creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one plus one. Okay, so no foils in that one. It's always disappointing when the, uh, not so much that you don't get any shinies, but when the rare is just kind of, yeah. Not that interesting. Although I guess if you're playing an illusion deck and you've got a... Oh, I forget what it's called. The one that gets more powerful if you have more illusions. That'd be useful. Divination. Vast Vastwood Gorger. Chandra's Outrage. Slaughter Cry. Bloodseeker. Auromancer. Phantasmal Bear. Wall of Torches, Divine Favor, and then our uncommons are Goblin Grenade. Goblin Grenade deals 5 damage to target creature or player. Great Sword, Kraken's Eye, and our mythic or rare is a Drowned Catacomb, which is just a dual land type, with a shiny Kite Shield. Okay, we have 4 left and like 8 minutes. Because I'm pushing it all the way to the 15. Minute boundary. Divination. Fastwood Gorger. Chandra's Outrage. Jace's Erasure. Plummet. Divine Favor. Zombie Goliath. Ice Cage. Reclaim. And our uncommons are Azure Mage. Timely Reinforcements, love this card. Spirit Mantle and our Mythic or Rare is a Rare Mesa Enchantress with a Soldier Token and a Shiny Negate. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Three left. Really hoping for something big to finish on. Really hoping the last pack comes through for me. Fire Breathing, Drifting Shade, Giant Spider, Slaughter Cry, Brindle Bore, Devouring Swarm, Ponder, Griffin Rider, Goblin Fire Slinger, Titanic Growth, our uncommons are Goblin Bang Chuckers, Alabaster Mage, Buried Ruin, and our mythic or uncommon is a Day of Judgment, Rare. I really wish they put more tokens in these. I think the fat pack should come with tokens. Well, it's not hard to like make your own by just writing 3-3 three, three on a piece of paper. It's still nice to have the actual tokens. That's my opinion, Harry. Dust Hunter Bat. 
Stormfront Pegasus, Blood Ogre, Coral Merfolk, Lightning Elemental, Armored Warhorse, Flight, Sacred Wolf, Fling, Ring Flesh, and our uh, Uncommons are Overrun, Thran Golem, and Acidic Slime, and our Mythic or Rare is Monomania. Target player chooses a card in his, his or her hand and discards the rest. So that's quite nice, you only get to keep one of your card, and then one of those Pentabite tokens. Last pack, guys, come on, keep your fingers crossed. I really want something amazing to end on, and I've got a bit of time, so I'll do a recap of the rares and mythics that I've got. But obviously, once this is done, you can switch off if you're not that interested. I was hoping for a Gideon Jura, but I guess that's kind of wishful thinking. Gideon's Law Keeper, Gorehorn Minotaurs, Drifting Shade, Aether Adept, Storm Stonehorn Dignitary, Bloodseeker, Amphim Cutthroat, Manolith, Prime Guardian, another one of those, another Wall of Torches. And then our own comments are Carnage Worm, haven't seen that before, Bloodthirst 366, Dragon's Claw, seen that a lot, Cudgel Troll, and our mythic or rare is Su Suchid Got Ghoul, sorry, Trample. As it enters the battlefield, exile any number of creature cards from your graveyard, and its power is equal to the number of cards you exiled. So, not too bad. Now we have a bit of time left, so I'm only going to show the rares and the mythics that I got. Not the uncommons, because I'd be here forever. So I'll do them in reverse order. I got that shiny Sun Petal Grove, that World Slayer, another Arachna Spider, a Pentavus, Visions of Beyond, Dijin of Wishes, Dungrove Elder, Phantasmal Image, another Pentavus, Redirect, Garrick's Horde. Um, Adaptive Automaton, Drowned Catacomb, Mesa Enchantress, Day of Judgment, Monomania, and that Sutured Ghoul. And then for our Mythics, just two. Um, Primordial Hydra gets the double attack strength every turn. And then Garuk, the Planeswalker. Put a 3 3 beast creature on the field. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Put a 6 creature green worm token for each land you control. That is amazing. I like that a lot. Okay, so that is the two uh, fat packs that I've got open. If you like this uh, channel and the way I unbox things, subscribe. And I will, I don't know, leave comments for things you want unboxing. I don't know if you want me to do more old boosters or new ones or, you know, really whatever. So leave a comment, say if you liked it or not. And thanks for watching.